Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Hotfix. And uh, good actual lord, it would appear, it would appear, Mr. Kiryoff, that Microsoft have gone, oh dearie me, we've made a massive mistake and have released this press release concerning the Xbox One. Take it away, Mr. Kiryoff, good lord. Allow me, your feedback matters by Don Matrick, President, Interactive Entertainment <laughs> Business. Last week at E3, the excitement, creativity and future of our industry was on display for a global audience. For us, the future comes in the form of Xbox One, a system designed to be the best place to play games this year and for many years to come. As is our heritage with Xbox, we designed a system that would take full advantage of advances in technology in order to deliver a breakthrough in gameplay and entertainment. We, managed, we imagined a new set of benefits such as easier roaming, family sharing and new ways to try and buy games. We believe in the benefits of a connected, digital future. Since unveiling our plans for Xbox one, my team and I have heard directly from many of you, read your comments and listened to your feedback. I would like to oh, take the shit. opportunity today to thank you for your assistance in helping us to reshape the future of Xbox One. Yeah, right. You told us how much you love the flexibility you have today with games delivered on disc. The ability to lend, share and resell these games at your discretion is of incredible importance to you. Also important to you is the freedom to play offline for any length of time anywhere in the world, including submarines. So today I am announcing the following changes to Xbox One and how you can play, share, lend and resell your games exactly as you do today on Xbox 360. Here is what that means. An internet connection will not be required to play offline Xbox One games. After a one-time system setup with, an, with a new Xbox One, you can play any disc-based game without ever connecting online again. There is no 24-hour connection requirement, and you can take your Xbox One anywhere you want and play your games just like on the Xbox 360. Trade in, lend, resell, gift and rent disc-based games just as you do today. There will be no limitations to using and sharing games. It will work just as it does today on Xbox 360. In addition to buying a disc from a retailer, you can also download games from Xbox Live on day of release. If you choose to download your games, you will be able to play them offline just like you do today. Xbox One games will be playable on any Xbox One console. There will be no regional restrictions. These changes will impact some of the scenarios we previously announced for the Xbox One. The sharing of games will work as it does today. You will simply share the disc. Downloaded titles cannot be shared or resold. Also, similar to today, playing disc-based games will require that the disc be in the tray. We appreciate your passion, support and willingness to challenge the assumptions of digital licensing and connectivity. While we believe that the majority of people will play games online and access the cloud for both games and entertainment, we will give consumers the choice of both physical and digital content. We have listened and we have heard loud and clear from your feedback that you want the best of both worlds. Thank you again for your candid feedback. Our team remains committed to listening, taking feedback and delivering a great product for you later this year. Is that not nice, Indeed. Blood? Indeed. Isn't it nice? It, well, let, it allow nice? me to sum this up, because that was quite the wall of text Mr. Kiryoff has just murdered everybody with. So, <laughs> essentially, what this means is there is no always online requirement. That's totally gone. The console will not check in every 24 hours. So, again, there's no online. It's just gone. You know, it doesn't require an internet connection to function. It does require one as soon as you buy the thing to do its little connect to Xbox Live crap. But after that, you don't need it, which is... Fine. Now, all the discs will work on the Xbox One, just like they do on the Xbox 360. This means that it's just the same. I could give a game to Mr. Kiryoff, and he could play it, and he could borrow me one of his games, and I could play that in mine. That, ladies and gentlemen, is what a gaming console is all about. So while Microsoft thought they would get rid of that, we do not know. Um, downloaded games, they're linked to your account. So, you know, that's the same thing as Steam and whatnot. And I think that's the same way they run their... Xbox 360 now anyway, you can't give people downloaded games, I guess, unless you give away your account, I don't know. Um, and there's no regional restrictions, which is pretty big. And of course, there's no um, restrictions on trading or selling games. Whereas before, they were like, we want, basically, ba like, like we said in previous hotfixes, basically, it is, hello, we're Microsoft. Um, we really like what Apple do with their little enclosed ecosystems where... Everything has to go through them. We want this for the games console market because we had arguably the best console of last generation. So what we're going to do, Mr. Kiryoff, is lock everybody into this horrific prison of, like, hatred. And uh, it'll be fine. Everybody will love it because we'll say, yeah, this is a, the digital connected future. It's the Mr. future. Kiryoff, with the cloud. The, the infinite power of the cloud. Oh. <laughs> and um, it'll be fine. And then they're looking at their PR reports and they're like, uh, this doesn't seem to be going too well. And then after E3, their little presentation, 
PlayStation, well, Sony come out with the PlayStation and kill them, comprehensively kill them and say, hello, we have a games console, ladies and gentlemen, not this thing, which is some sort of media hub, which is just terrible. We have a games console. So everybody goes crazy, Mr. Carry The entire internet. Now, you know, I, you, ev- everywhere you look, I mean, okay, so it started off with people in places like Reddit, 4chan, slamming the Xbox. Then it sort of became the thing to do, just slam the Xbox for the sake of it. Slam, 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 bag of shit, blah, blah, blah. But then you started seeing it in mainstream media. And to me, that is the, that's the damning thing. If, yeah. As soon as it's in mainstream media, like I'll use the example of um, a fella I know who doesn't, he doesn't, um, let's just say he likes to play Call of Duty, but he doesn't actually do anything on a computer. He doesn't even really know how to use a computer. But even he knew the Xbox One was a bag of shit. How the hell did he know that? Well, he read it in the newspaper. When that happens, you have got a big fucking problem. And Microsoft... I thought they were just going to carry on and be ignorant wankers and just go, you know what, fuck this. I mean, Angry Joe, he interviewed Major Nelson. He's the guy with, he's got something to do with Xbox Live. Uh, and if I'm honest, I'm not totally sure who the hell he is, but he's something to do with Xbox Live. Um, he was like, uh, Angry Joe said to him, can't you just turn off the online requirements? Surely that'll be easy. And the guy grabs the mic off him and he's like, no, uh, do you work for the, 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 the hardware development team now, dear? And he's like, well, surely it's easy. You can see the Joe chap gets a bit... Uh, you know, flustered. But what he was saying is right. You know, it's, it's a piece of piss to turn shit like that off. Yeah. I know that, and I'm no hardware guy. I would have slapped this fucking clown down. And well, what's this? A few days later. Yeah. Oh, by the way, <laughs> yeah. by the way, it's gone. In fact, all of it's gone now, and we've even got rid of the stupid. I mean, it's so it's so ridiculous. But I submit this question to you, Mister Kerry, and I submit it to everybody else. What could they have done? What could they have honestly have done after they've spent? You know, they've, they've spent hundreds of millions of dollars on this thing. They must have. Research, development, all that stuff. You've got the advertising, the, everything, a shitload of money. Would you have then took that product to market in the state it was in, in the public eye? You'd have been a fucking idiot to do yeah. it. And the, as well, the thing as well is that this is like, this is massive. This might be the biggest U turn I've ever seen in the gaming industry. I'd agree with that. It's, yeah, it is absolutely that. insane. They've reversed their policy on absolutely everything to do with the console, which is pretty big. But you know what? You know what, bloke? I still don't like them, purely because, to me, they should never have done this in the first place. You cannot call it a slight error of judgment. They just basically said, if you buy our console, you've got no consumer rights whatsoever, fuck you. And that's unacceptable. They tried to get away with it. Yeah, that's and then the they, thing. They, they tried, tried to dress to it up. It, they, they tried to make it look fancy. Yeah. They tried to call it the future and give it stupid names. And it didn't work because everyone, the mass gaming community, flocked to their direct competitor. And all they could do to make any bit of tiny difference to the mass exodus of their fans was to completely change the system. How bad is that? I've got no respect for this move whatsoever. Because it Are the is... console wars back on? Are they back on? I really hope they're not. Genuinely, I hope they still lose. Because what is to say that they don't try this well, again? Well, let's look at the thing. Look at the thing. Look at the, the Xbox and the Kinect, right? Now it functions the same way as the PlayStation 4. Does it not have better hardware? Because it's got the Kinect. But does the Kinect count as better hardware? Because it's well, still the horrible like, sort like, of... Yeah, that's not a right thing to say. Like, like, like uh, More features, almost. Because, I mean, I'll be honest. I do think the Kinect voice stuff and, and motion is pretty smart. That does look pretty nice. Um, but obviously the major thing putting, like me completely off Xbox was the fact it was locked in and always online and all this crap with the you couldn't resell games and everything which was terrible um, but you, you know what I think I do I, I do agree with what you're saying though I think I would still buy a PlayStation 4 just because they didn't try the bullshit on they just said look here's a games console they didn't go oh yeah we got this oh shit because I mean all it is is like We've got the Xbox One. We want it to be this. We want it to be this. We want to make more money. We want to get rid of the used game market because we can make more money. We want to completely control that. Yada, 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 yada. Um, we want to do TV. We want to do subscription services. This is all fine. Um, competitor says, we just, we've got a games console. Everybody wanted the Xbox to be a games console. Moved over to competitor, Sony, and then Microsoft are like, shit. Um, we tried it on. It didn't work, lads. So we're just going to have to just say, well, get rid of this stuff. Yeah. They didn't, and now we're the same as Sony. But Sony just came out and went, "This is a games console. This isn't a fucking prison of hatred and lies." 
Yeah. And deceit, slanderous, salacious lies. It's just, they, the problem with this is that they didn't do this to begin with. They're doing this out of necessity to save something that would otherwise be a massive financial disaster for them and PR disaster. So have well. they saved it? This is the question, guys. Have they saved it? Are you... Well, we'll throw this over to you guys now because, I mean, we could go on for ages and ages about it, but I don't want to honestly see what you guys say about this or think about this. Are the console wars back on? Given this news, are you going to buy an Xbox One? Maybe you're an Xbox 360 fan and you think, well, okay, this seems fine now. I'd buy an Xbox One. Are you still going to buy a PS4? What do you think of Microsoft now? We put arguments forward saying, well, they've kind of tried it on, didn't work, so they got out of it. Does that make them worse, in your opinion? Or does that make them uh, appear as a company that are willing to backtrack? I mean, you could go conspiracy theory and say, maybe they intended this all along. I highly doubt that, but maybe they did. We just do not know. Ladies and gentlemen, comment below. We will read the comments. We absolutely love it. I've been Starlo, so he's been Kerry Off. Make sure you watch the end slate after this video and click on all our social media links and all that stuff. And we'll catch you next time. Toodaloo.